Yo, welcome back everybody to a PC Live Paradox Rift deck video, and today's episode of kind of bad deck Friday is going to be my Armor Rouge Toolbox deck using Iron Moth. Now, I wanted to get a video on Iron Moth out because I thought it was cool. I mean, I did a video on Slitherwing. It was only right I did a video on Iron Moth too, and I didn't know how to play it because I looked at it and I'm like, yeah, this card's kind of mid. Playing it by itself probably doesn't work. It's not strong enough. It is a really cool fire Pokemon though, and because it's a future Pokemon and a fire Pokemon, it has good synergy with Armor Rouge and also has good synergy with Iron Hands and cards like Techno Radar and Future Booster Capsule. Now, one of the cool combos this deck gets to use is Iron Moth just being a nice one prize beat stick. It does do 120 damage. It does have a good ability, Thermal Reactor, where once during a turn, when this Pokemon moves from your bench to the active spot, you can move any amount of fire energy from your other Pokemon to it, which is pretty good. And then, of course, it does hit hard. It's got 130 HP, so it's nice to use against like Lost Zone decks. And we can use Armor Rouge with Iron Hands. Now, Iron Hands does require a Lightning and three. Colorless Energy, if we're able to get three Fire Energy into play, we can then put a Lightning Energy into play onto the Iron Hands DX so that Ampy very much can attack by moving Energy off with Armor Rouge. So we have two future Pokemon in one deck. This kind of opens up the door for a little bit of a future Toolbox style play with the Iron Moth and the Iron Hand. Shiyu EX also really does a lot of work in this deck. I really underestimated how good this card was in Armor Rouge decks because like I never did a video on this card when Parado or Paldea came out. But honestly, after playing the deck and using Shiyu, Shiyu's kind of insane, bro. It's attack, flame surge, puts um, three fire energy into play on your bench Pokemon, which is really good. I mean, you can, especially if you're trying to go for, like, an Iron Hands play really fast, and you can quickly just get three energy into play just like that. That's kind of insane. It's also nice against Snorlax. You do have Jealousy Singe, so if you can use Shiyu against Snorlax, you can just sit there and mill your opponent, or you can save it for the end of the game and then mill Snorlax. So Shiyu does help against Stall, too. Um, it's good in the early game to get energy in play, and then also it can be decent against stall. And sometimes your opponent just has two cards in the deck, and then you can just randomly deck them out, which is kind of cool. So there's some cool plays you can make. I'm also playing Armor Rouge EX. You might as well. You're playing the Char Cadets. You might as well play the EX. It's also a nice beat stick attacker with Scorching Bazooka. And then we got Mew in the deck. Another really good card in Armor Rouge is Mew. Not only is it a good draw card, but it's also just really good to use Genome Hacking. You can copy any of your opponent's active Pokemon's attacks, which is also good. It's, you can just Armor Rouge to Mew pretty easily. So it's kind of like an Armor Rouge Toolbox deck, but has some future in the deck. So I guess you could say the future is Armor Rouge. Before we get the video show too, the sponsor Card Cavern TCG is always if you're looking for any PDCG live pack outs, get them over at Card at Cavern. Card Capsule's code line for the cheapest. So if you're looking for any set like the main set, Paradox Rift, or another set like 151, Paldea Evolved, or some IRL Pokemon TCG product too, Card Capsule's, all that over there. If you can get that Card Cavern at the checkout, use my discount code code LDF for a 5 to discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and help our Card Cavern. So shout out to Card Cavern, check them out, use code LDF. Also, check out the Shovel Squad down below every Monday. I post a new video over on their channel. You can check out my second channel down below. I've posted quite a few videos on the second channel recently. Did a video talking about Snorlax stall and why it shouldn't be banned or why it's good for the game. And you can also check out um, the video I posted looking at a potential rotation date. And you can check out the podcast channel, the Meant to Might Pod down below. Episode 18 is going out today because we upload an episode every Friday. And I definitely get hyped for that. So here is the list I am playing for my Armor Rouge box deck. And Armor, Armor Rouge is definitely a fun card. I've done many videos on this card. It's one of my favorite cards in the Scarlet and Violet block, just because it's so fun to play. There's a lot of options. Fire decks are kind of, like, underwhelming right now, in my opinion. I mean, I guess there's Entei Valiant but, and Charizard X, kind of. But those are two decks you have to, like, squint to, like, call them actual pure fire decks. But this is a pure fire deck, because there's a lot of fire Pokemon in the deck. Um, and, yeah, there's a lot of really cool options you get to use. You get to use Future Booster Capsule in this deck. Um, it does allow... Iron Moth to do 140 damage. It also gives it a free retreat, which can be relevant. And you can also put on your Iron Hands to do 140 damage. This could be really good against, like, Pidgeot EX, obviously. Lugia V-Star, Palkia V-Star. Palkia especially has been seeing a lot of play recently. Um, so definitely nice to have the booster capsule for the hands, too. So just a nice natural card to play. I kind of want to play two of these, in all honesty. It's actually a really good card. So playing two of them also could be pretty good. Um, Vessel's a nice upgrade to these Armor Rouge decks. It's a great way to get energy in the discard pile. Also can find you lightning energy, but you can also use it to um, get energy in the discard for your Magma Basin to put a fire energy onto one of your bench fire Pokemon. This is another way to actually get a turn one Shiyu is to use Basin plus attach to the Shiyu and then immediately go Flame Surge. But yeah, this deck's a lot of fun to play. It really impressed me how this deck actually ended up playing. Radiant Charizard, again, is another card I want to mention. Obviously, Charizard is just bananas in fire decks. It's just a really good card right now in general because of all the basic EXs that you can one-shot with Combustion Blast. Um, but yeah, let's go try out this deck on live scene action and see what this deck can really do. And hopefully we can use our, our Iron Moth a couple times. We'll see how this deck goes. Again, okay, this game, we got one with Shiyu. Uh, the hand's actually not terrible. We have an Energy. We have Iono. Uh, I don't remember if we're going first or second, though. 
which is kind of an issue. We're against a Lost Zone deck, and we are going first. Okay, we drew a Vessel. Patch Pass. Unfortunately, the rest of my hand is kind of bad. I mean, I don't play Battle VIP, and maybe we should play Battle VIP in here. I don't know, dude. I just, I don't like playing Battle VIP Pass, but the problem with this deck is we're not playing, like, Arvin or anything, so, like, I don't know if we need Battle VIP. Because, like, it's, we don't get it turn one. We're just kind of screwed. I don't know. Maybe we should play Battle VIP, though. Because we got no basics. And we needed, we need to get Char Cadets in play and stuff. We'll see what this is. Could be Lost Tina, which could be a tough matchup. Lost Tina could be tough. We'll see, though. Shiyu's not a bad starter because we can Flame Surge, get some energy in play. We do have Iron Hands. The nice thing with Shiyu is it can definitely build up for the Iron Hands play, which is what I'm thinking we can pull off. And unfortunately, they have a Battle VIP pass. This might be. Giratina, too, which could be tough. Giratina could be a tough matchup. We'll see. There's Cramorant and Greninja. Could get crammed here, which is not good either. I guess we'll see what they're playing off Concealed or anything. Do they have a Colrus? They have another Comfy. Hmm. I'll see what else they have here. Flower selecting into what? Water Energy. Still, in the, still no signs of what they're playing. Switch. Maybe it is Giratina. They're playing Switch. Probably want to get Mew in play. Use Mew in this matchup if it is Giratina. Hopefully they whiff Colrus. They lost on another Comfy. Arvin. Whoa. That's not Colrus. Interesting. I wonder if they're playing TM Devo. They probably are. What can they even grab with this? Like, what tool even exists that they can grab with Arvin? Eventual Punch Vacuum. Oh my god, that can get them to four. Bro, no way! They're actually gonna spit, though! Yo, that's crazy. That's actually really bad. They're gonna spit because they had Arvin lost at- What? Dude, no shot. I'm still gonna get spit innocently when they didn't get a Colrus. Dude, I hate it here. No shot, bro. They get rid of Manaphy. Gosh, I played Iron Jugulus. Yeah, we're actually getting- we're getting turn one crammed because of Lost Vacuum Arvin. That's so annoying. No, my Shi, you actually need that. That sucks, bro. Now they're going to get a two... They're going to get, like, an easy two-prize lead on me. Because the Shi is not going to kill the cram in return, which is a problem. It doesn't do enough damage. We found another Battle VIP. Rip. I don't think we're playing against Giratina. I think we're just playing against, like, normal Lost Box. With, like, Sableye. They probably... Well, they don't play Radiant Zard, so I don't know. We need Iron Hand. So, honestly, this might not be the end of the world because... Oh, they didn't spit. Okay, never mind. Thank heavens. Yeah, we need Iron Hand. Speak of the devil. Do I just grab the hands here? Could wait. I'm going to grab Mew, actually. We'll Vessel... Uh, get rid of Basin. Need the energy. We're going to have Iono here, no matter what. Do I play the Basin? No, I'll save it. I don't know what I'm... Like, I don't know what I'm even playing against, to be honest. Like, I have no idea what this is. I'm just gonna Iono. This probably gives him a Colrus, but that's fine. Okay, nice. That's a pretty good draw. Mana Fee Charcadet is actually a really good combo. We have the Techno Radar for next turn, too, which can get us Iron Hands, which is good. Yeah, it's a pretty good hand. We'll just Flame Surge. I guess losing Super Odd could be an issue, but that's fine. We'll knock out this Comfy, and we'll get three fires in play. We just got to make sure we can hit the Iron Hands next turn. That's the plan. Then we can attack. We'll see what my opponent is playing, though. Again, I have no idea what this is. I mean, Ventral Punch, Arvin, they didn't get any Vs in play. I didn't see a Raikou, a Dragonite, a Roaring Moon, a Giratina. I thought it was a Giratina, but, like, I don't think it is a Giratina. They play, like, normal Switch, though. So I, I have no idea what this could be. So we have to be a little cautious of this, because I have no idea what I'm playing against. But next turn, we can probably go for the Iron Hands, assuming we can hit one of our lightning energies. We should be able to iron hands my opponent. There is the Colrus's experiment. Still no cards that really tell me what I'm playing against. <laughs> this is confusing. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, them being able to spit is kind of annoying because they can like then Sableye. But as long as they just go iron hands, they're like, you have to kill my hands. Another eventual punch gets blossomed. Playing a lot of punches. Are they just playing like Kramer and eventual punch? Energy retrieval. Okay, I have no idea what this is. That's a card you don't see in Lost Box. Yo, Lost Zone, Goldengo. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Don't know what I'm playing against. What are they at right now? Eight in the Lost Zone. Yeah, they're going to get to ten next turn. 
Okay, hopefully we can pull off the hands here. Another ventral punch. How do they find all four that quickly? Mewtwo. Okay. That can't get one-shot by Iron Hands. Um, but we do have the Iron Booster. The future booster capsule thing. So it's not that bad, actually. I guess they're playing Mewtwo Ventral Punch. I don't know. They have Path 2? Wait, what? Okay, that's actually not good. I kind of wanted to keep Mew's ability. Because I wanted to draw cards here so I can try to get the energy. Dude, what is going on? I'm being trolled. Do we have both lightnings in the deck? We do. Yeah, that path is really annoying because I kind of need to. I kind of. I kind of wanted to mew here to see if I can get. To see if I can get um thing. I'm just gonna get moth and iron hands, I guess. Let's we'll bench both of them. Yeah, cause I draw two cards. I need to find lightning. We didn't get lightning. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, that's what I was worried about. We weren't going to get lightning. But in the meanwhile, I guess we'll just knock him out with Iron Moth, which isn't that bad, actually. Um, Yeah, we can move energy to it, which is kind of sweet. Whiffing the knockout there with Iron Hands feels kind of bad, but that's fine. We'll just Heat Ray for the knockout. It's fine with me. It's why the Iron Moth is good. It's a nice one prize attacker. But in this scenario, the 40 damage is kind of relevant, but... I mean, in most matchups where you're not playing against Ventral Punch Lost Zone, Iron Moth is actually pretty good because it can't get killed by Cram or Sableye in return. This is just an odd scenario where it doesn't matter. But next turn, ideally, we find the Lightning Energy. You never know. Those two cards are going to draw with Mew could have got the Lightning Energy. So that's a pretty big whiff. They're probably going to Sableye me here, and ideally, they're going to kill my Shiyu. Well, not ideally, but they're probably going to KO Shiyu. But then I can Iron Hands them. Yeah, there's 10. That's 10. We'll see if they KO Shi or not. They could actually kill the Mana Fee, but I don't think Greninja is really relevant. Everything in play right now is kind of beefy. I guess if they kill Mana Fee, they can, like, knock out Shi with I don't know. I am down my Rod, which is kind of annoying. I don't have my Rod anymore, which is kind of a problem. All right, we'll see what they do here. There's another Flower Select. I mean, the only benefit is I can't Concealed right now, but I don't think that matters. Okay, another Mirage Gate. They only have one Mirage Gate left, so we can use that to our advantage. Yeah, they only have one Mirage Gate left. We can take advantage of that, I think. Let's see what they do. If they go, like, Escape Rope, we'll give them... I don't know what to give them, actually. If they Rope, I think I just always give them Shiyu. Yeah, I think it's fine. Let's we'll see what they do. Do they got anything in their hand? Do I ever bench another Char Cadet is my other question. I don't know if I want to bench Char Cadet. They might play Counter Catcher. They could go Greninja here and knock out my Iron Moth, I guess. No, there's Counter Catcher. What are they going after, though? Oh, they're going in the Iron Hands. Okay. Well, they can't knock it out. This actually is a little annoying. This is forcing me to find the energy. Oh, never mind. They're going Cross Switcher. Oh, okay. Change of plans. They go after my Mana Fee, after all. Hmm. Nah, that does let them take three prizes on Moth and Shiyu, which is kind of annoying. Um, that's fine, though. I don't hate this, but that's fine. Well, okay, here's the thing. If they ever do that, I, I just have Mew. I can just genome hacking copy this. So, okay, here's my win con. I go Iron Hands here, knock out Sableye. They go Greninja, then I go Mew, copy Moonlight Shuriken, knock out two Comfies. They just lost on their Mana Fee, so... That's probably what I'm eyeing to do. I need to find this lightning, though. No guarantees I'm going to find it, unfortunately. Got the Nest Ball. I think I'm just going to get Bidoof here. Fine to get Bidoof, I think. Um, If worse comes first, you can always Iron Moth this Sableye. But it would be a great opportunity to find the lightning. All right, come on. Give me the lightning energy. I need to amp you very much. No, we didn't get it. Didn't even get a stadium. I can't even draw cards. Okay, that's actually really bad we whiffed. Oh, the energy whiffs are real this game. That is killer. Yeah, that's annoying. Damn it. Freaking, this random path they just put into play too. I just can't mute. I could have just mute for three. I can Bibberol next turn and they don't kill Bidoof, I guess. I feel so bad. We actually could be in a bit of a pickle now because I whiffed. Okay, we got research. That's good. 
Still winnable. Like, I feel like they probably can't stop Iron Hands if I use it, but... Such a bad whiff, dude. I'm actually kind of annoyed. Oh, they could Sableye again. Knock out Shiyu, Bidoof. Ah, maybe I shouldn't have benched Bidoof. I don't know. We'll see if they go Greninja or Sableye. If I had a fresh Iron Moth in play, it wouldn't have made a difference, yeah. The Light Energy whiff for two turns is actually so killer. Oh, they could Sableye my Armor Rouge. Dude, why can't I just... If only I, if I ever just find Lightning Energy, i probably just win this game. That is so annoying. Okay, thankfully they leave my Armor Rouge alive, though. Yo, hit my Bidoof, please. Just... No, dude, I wanted them to hit Bidoof. Okay, thankfully the XP share stuck around. I was kind of worried they'd have another random vacuum. It's actually not good. They can't take two prizes next turn, though, I don't think. Okay, we can still maybe win this game. Okay, what do I draw? Nest ball. Hmm. I don't really want to play Nest Ball. I could get, well, I could get Radiant Zard into play. I just, I kind of feel bad losing my boss because I might need it. That's fine. We'll just Nest Ball. You can Nest Ball another Moth into play, I guess, or an Iron Hands. Or, uh, sorry, uh, what do you call it? Charizard. I guess I do want to bench Moth to play around Equine Horn. So I can't, like, take two prizes. I don't know if they can do that. Alright, dude, if I don't get a Light Energy here, I'm gonna be a little annoyed. Okay, we didn't get it. It's fine. No, no one panic. Please give me Lightning Energy. Yes, thank heavens, dude. We finally got it after 9 million tries. Oh my god, that took way too long to find the light energy. Could get rid of this path too. Do I want to get rid of path though is the question. Yeah, sure. I wouldn't mind getting another energy in play. I don't think this really matters. I don't think getting rid of the stadium. If I lose because I got rid of that stadium, so be it. But I don't think this is going to lose me the game or anything. If only we were doing this two turns earlier, though, but it's fine. We got a lot of action in with Iron Moth, which is nice. We just gotta hope my opponent somehow can't take two prizes here. I don't think they can. So, should be okay. Alright, Ampy very much. If they can knock me out, they can knock me out, so be it. I have no idea what I'm playing against, so I don't know what to expect. If they can knock him Iron Hands this turn, so be it. If they can do it, they can do it. If only we got the energy sooner. Had we got Light Energy any sooner in this match, I think we would have won this game. We just took too long to get the energy. All right, let's see it. Can they take two prizes here? This is why I filled my bench up on the off chance they had, like, some weird Equine Horn play. But I don't think there really is an Equine Horn play, but just in case. Cram? Okay, that's not it. That's not going to knock me out. Mewtwo can't knock me out. The booster capsule on the Iron Hands means Mewtwo can't one-shot me. I have boss in hand if they go Mewtwo. Um, Because I can't one-shot it with Ambi very much. I can just retreat knock out Mewtwo, though. I think the, we, we hopefully win here. We'll see, though. Let's see. I don't see how they can take two prizes. They have to, like, Iono Roxanne me or something. Escape rope. Okay, we can go... I'm trying to think. Do I just give them a one-prizer on the off chance? They have some weird... What weird tech card could they really be playing, though? Nah. Is it safe to go Mew? Yeah, it's fine. I don't think they can knock Mew out. I... I debated going Iron Moth there, right? Because we can go retreat. But they could, like, knock out Armor Rouge and then... Then I can't move this thing. So we might as well just give them Mew. I don't think they can knock Mew out this turn. I'm pretty sure they can kill my Mew here. I think Mew's safe. We'll see, though. Can they Kyogre me, maybe? But they already bench locked themselves. Yeah, they could have been playing Kyogre, actually. Should have maybe played around it. Okay, they do have the Cross Switcher anyways. I got for my Zard. That's fine. Do they have another path? They can kill Armor Rouge here. As long as I can attack, we're fine. They have to kill Armor Rouge. Okay. That's fine. Still winnable. Well, I just have game in hand, actually. They didn't get path. What am I saying? Yeah, they, <laughs> they I just have game in hand. I guess they had to hope I was out of fire energy, but I only played a couple. All right, we got there. 
we got there. And we drew Basin anyways. Look at that. All right, sick. That was a close game, dude. Had we ever ampy very much any earlier in this match, we would have won. Iron Moth was good, though. At least we were able to use Iron Moth in this matchup effectively. It did take a couple prizes, which is nice. But yeah, we really were banking on getting Ampy very much at any other point in that match. That's unfortunate it took so long to get Ampy very much. And they almost lost the game because of it. Um, but we take those. That was a close one. All right, get into this game with the deck. We are mulliganing, and we open up with... Uh, we got stuff. Not the worst hand ever. Mew EX is a good starter. Um, we can probably try to play our hand down from Mew. That's what I want to do. Play against... I have no idea what this is. We're going to find out, though. They have an Ursa Luna. We drew an Armor Rouge. I mean, I guess I'm going to get Char Cadet. Honestly, Shiyu might have been better to grab there. But I already have the Armor Rouges in hand. It's just kind of natural. I don't know what I'm playing against, so that's my issue. Let me check my prizes. Bibril's in there. Armor Rouge. Okay, we got Iron Hands. I don't know if we're going to need hands, though. Might as well just attack early on with this guy. Else wait. Next turn, we can draw cards with Mew because we have Basin plus Armor Rouge energy. Yeah, I guess we'll attack with the EX. It does a little bit of damage. Battle VIP. Whoa. Okay, I don't know what I'm playing against here. I guess it's like, is it an Arc deck? That's all I can think of is it's an Arceus deck because like, oh, it's Garchomp. They're playing a Garchomp EX deck. Garchomp is a water type, which is a little scary. Uh, it is weak to Lightning though. We can't one-shot it. Even if we get the, uh, the future booster capsule on Iron Hands, we're still short. Kind of glad I didn't go. Sh try it. Kind of glad I didn't go for the Shiyu now, but this thing dies anyways. Does it actually no? This thing at full HP can't get killed by uh, Garchomp's first attack, which is kind of good. TM Evo. Whoa, that's not good. Oh, there's flexing on me. This thing takes what thirty less damage. Damn. Hmm. Okay, Garchomp could actually be a little scary. It is a water Pokemon, but we can try to utilize uh, Iron Hands. But they're playing. Swablu, I don't know. Okay, Manaphy's a good top deck. We probably need Manaphy in this matchup because of Garchomp's snipe attack, so we might as well respect it. All right. Two extra cards with the restart. Can we get anything good here? Do we get a Nest Ball? We got another Char Cadet, I guess, for this guy. Sure. Let's retreat. We'll hit for 90. I guess we could try to build up Arm Press. We need two Lightning, though, to do that. We might have to try to build Iron Hands up this match. Because they can hit for weakness. They can hit me for weakness, though, which is a problem. Okay, they can't one-shot me. We have 340 HP right now, so technically the Garchomp EX can't KO me if they attack with it. And, of course, they have Switch in their hand, bro. No, I was kind of hoping that thing was going to be stuck for another turn. You hate to see it. All right, can they pull the attack off? They need an Energy and a Garchomp EX. That's not good. Don't do it. Okay, they go to a boss in Cheryl. All right, the Cheryl's good. His boss isn't hurt either. All right, can they knock me out this turn? Let's see it. Or at least can they attack? I don't, again, I don't think they can knock me out. Ideally, the whiff and energy here. That'd be nice. Just whiff and energy, please. Five cards, whiff and energy. I think they whiffed. They did whiff. Okay, let's go. And they actually go back into Ursa Luna. That means they have another switch in their hand. Do Ultra Ball. It's a pretty good card. I mean, I think we're just going to have to play it. I need to get Bidoof and play. I need to draw cards. I'm going to set up my Drongen, and then we'll go Mew. Okay, we got Iono. It's fine. We'll play it. Good Rod there. I'm going to save Rod, though. All right, we'll say Iono. That probably gives him an energy, obviously, but that's fine. Okay, we got Bibro for next turn. Um, we'll attach to Iron Moth. Good Rope here. Or something up on the bench. So I'm either going to take a prize, or I'm going to hit Garchomp, and then I can f maybe... I don't think I can Iron Hands the next turn. Is it worth it to play the rope? I don't... Do, how much HP does this have? 170. I can always Radiant Zard this thing. I actually kind of like roping here. Yes, do it. I kind of like this rope. Because this, this forces my opponent into an awkward spot. I could... Oh, you know what? I could go Mew EX here, actually. Uh, I could get my other Armor Rouge. I could go Mew EX... Like I was going to say, they brought in Garchomp. I can go Mew EX, but that's just probably not a good idea. I could attack with Iron Moth here. Hmm. Nah, I think we want to save Iron Moth. Armor Rouge can't get one shot by Garchomp, so we might as well just go Armor Rouge for now. It's fine. Yeah, I'm fine with this. Take a prize. Suit our prizes. Okay, Vessel's really good. Maybe we can... Eh. 
We could go hands next turn. We'll see. If I get any XP share, that'd be nice, too. That's another card I want to find. Yeah, they obviously got an energy now. There's an Irida. We'll see what else they're playing in their deck here. I don't know if this is their only fighting attacker, but I guess we're going to find out. They do have an uh, Irida, and they get another Rare Candy Garchomp in play. Yeah, Garchomp's kind of scary, dude. It's a water deck. Okay, yeah, they can't one-shot me. They do 320 damage. Thanks to our ability, we can't get one-shot by Garchomp. So, luckily we do survive the turn here with 20 HP left. I think we just want to try to hit them into the knockout with uh, Armor Rouge. Or with Iron Hands. But they bench a Swablu. These Altarias are really annoying. I don't like the Altarias. I like my opponent's deck, but I don't like the Altarias. For me, anyways, because it's just not good. I could retreat into Mew this turn. I could Genome Hacking. Copy Sonic Dive. Nah, probably not worth it. I have a few options, but I don't think it's worth it. We do switch. Okay, we need Bipperol. Get rid of these two. Got Bipperol. We might, yeah, I think we might need Iron Hands to win this game, I think. That's what we can do, is we can knock this out with Iron Hands. I mean, this is winnable. Okay, let's... I really don't like getting the switch, but... Gotta do you gotta do. I mean, I could have mute, but there's no reason to. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. Ooh, that was a good draw. Okay, we actually could go... We have the Iron Hands actually in... We have the play. They could Iono me, though, but... We have, like, the setup here, so... We can actually Iron Hands the Garchomp next turn. If we don't get Ionoed, we need to knock it Ionoed here. Oh, we need Armor Rouge. No, I lied. We still need to get this guy. We need Armor Rouge. But we can thin our hand down pretty good. Okay, hopefully we can pull this off. Next turn, if we don't get Ionoed and we can find Armor Rouge, we can pull off the Iron Hands on this Garchomp and knock it out, which is what I want to do. We take three prizes. Let me just kill Ursa Luna for game. Or Garchomp. Aw, oh, dude, don't Altaria. If they Altaria me here, that's so bad. Okay, if we get Altaria, we could be cooked. Okay. They didn't got it. All right, good. And no Iono. So we keep the hand. So we can try to go for this play, which I think is worth it. I mean, uh, I could go Mew, though. Like, okay, if my opponent, if I can if I can find Armor Rouge, I could try to go Mew this turn, too, and then copy Sonic Dive. I can't, obviously, we can't snipe the Garchomps, but we can hit the Altaria. We can knock out their Bibberol, too, which I actually wouldn't hate. We can save that for the end of the game, like Iono, Kale, Bibberol. That might be good. And they actually stay in the active. Ooh, I get to keep my boss. That's really good, actually. I'm surprised they did this. Hmm, okay. That's really good. Where should I put the future booster capsule? I think I should save it for the hands. Okay, so yeah, we need Armor Rouge here. We can pull off Iron Hands. Most likely. Ooh, Super Rod. No. Uh, yeah, that's actually good. No, we, no, it's not as bad as I thought. Okay, so we'll get rid of this. Grab hands. Is Armor Rouge in there? It is, okay. We just need to find the Armor Rouge here, and we can knock out the Garchomp. Thanks to Basin. Okay. Do we put that there? Or there? Does it matter where I put this? I think I'd rather be on Iron Hands, sure. We can go Mew Super Rod. Draw one card, and then go Super Rod. Fire Energy. Uh, not good. Okay, come on. We need Armor Rouge here. We can take the Iron Hands knockout. Got Okay, we got Research. Oh, but I got to lose my boss. That's actually not good. I got to lose my last boss, which is kind of problematic. Honestly, you know what? I should have put the Lightning Energy back. I should have went... I should have put Lightning Armor Energy Armor Rouge back because I can still Arm Press knock out a Garchomp. That might have been a misplay, actually. I think it was. Alternatively, we could try to use Sonic Dive to win the game. And, yep, we got the Armor Rouge, baby. Let's get it. All right, we hit the Rouge. Let's go. That's sick. All right, watch this. Iron Hands. Fire off. Yeah, I should have I should have put the, the Lightning back because I could have Arm Pressed if they go Garchomp again, which they're probably going to do. That was a misplay. We'll see. Still winnable. Ampy very much. I mean, we can still win this. We'll see, though. Not having any Gusts, though, is going to be tough. There's Radiant Zard, finally. There's a ton of supporters off the prizes, too. Jeez. Yeah, losing my boss, and... Yeah, yeah, 100%. I should have put the Lightning back. I am... I actually could lose because of that. Because 
Literally, they just go Garchomp here. I just arm press for the knockout if I find fire. See, I should have oh, I should have put the lightning back. I actually might lose because of it. I don't think they can one-shot Iron Hands this turn. Unless they're playing some wacky fighting Pokemon. I don't know. We'll see. I did. Yeah, that was, that was a misplay. That was definitely a misplay. But Iron, Iron Hands kind of puts them in a tough spot because they're forced to knock this thing out. But yeah, I definitely should have. I definitely should have put the lightning back. I should have put back. Honestly, I didn't. I shouldn't even have put back the Charcadet. I should have just went Armor Rouge Lightning Energy. That's yeah. I should. I should just did that. I might have. Might have misplayed pretty hard there. Because literally, if they just go Garchomp, I just arm press for the knockout. Hmm. So the nice thing with this though is like they have to go Garchomp here. Oh, they're gonna do that. Okay, they concede it. Okay. Yeah, we we definitely. Yeah, I should have put the lightning back. But honestly, that was kind of sick. We got to use Iron Hands, which is pretty cool. That was a tough matchup to navigate to, to be honest. Well, it's not tough to navigate, but it was a little a little tricky. But the the help of the hands really does go a long way. Our players lost Tina. Huh. This matchup could be a little difficult. We do have hands, which is obviously good. I don't know. This might be a tough one, though, for sure. So we get rid of these two. I might want to keep the base in, but I do want to... I want to get my Charcadet and play get Armor Rouge down as quick as possible. Mew for one. See, we got here. That's good. Good hand for next turn. I like it. Tina, yeah, Tina might be tough. We do have Mew EX, which is good, and we have Charizard. But other than that, this matchup could be a little difficult. We'll see. I mean, we want to immediately try to go Shiyu and set up potentially Iron Hands. Obviously, that's a big deal. Getting the hands in play is going to be important, potentially. We have a lot of options, but our options could be very limited. Well, they got all that, and that's a pretty good turn one. Battle VIP Heavy Ball to immediately see their prizes. Hopefully they don't cram here. Uh, cram here, it's really annoying because, like, she, you can't one-shot it. I don't want to lose my Armor Rouge, and I don't want Mew to take damage. I kind of need to save Mew for Giratina. You can see why this matchup is going to be a little tough. Oh, they just put a path in play. That's fine. Are they just passing? If they just pass, I don't really want to play Iono. No, they're trolling. They're comfing. Okay, I'm surprised they played Path then. <laughs> I mean, now they're going to get punished if they get a battle VIP for Raiding Greninja. That's why I maybe wanted to hold the base. Things. I'm like, they're probably going to put a Path in play, but I wanted to get Charcadet down, and I wanted to keep everything in the hand. I'll right, see what they do here with Comfy. I didn't want a base in a Shiwi either, by the way. I want to keep it at 190 HP if possible. Just don't want to put damage on it or on this guy either. I want to keep them at full HP. We'll see if they flower select. There's a long decision. Interesting. They're taking a while to play this uh, comfy. This is very interesting. Now I'm not sure what the heck's going on. Okay, there's no way it's taking that long. What the heck? What is this flower select, dude? What did they just get rid of? A switch card? Really? It took them that? Really now? That's interesting. What was that other card then? Do they have lost vacuum? Okay, they don't. All right, good. What do we draw? Another vessel? Hmm. I kind of want to keep that for the lightning energy, obviously, but... Do I Iono? They obviously don't have Chorus. I do want to put more basics in play. Ideally, they're going to go cram. We knock out Iron Hands. Okay, I'm just going to Iono. Screw it. I don't know if this is correct. I'm going to play the Iono, though. I want to get basics. We got basics. But I didn't get the best of basics, which is kind of awkward. No Bidoo fizzle annoying. Got boss in hand, I guess, which is good. Is there a reason to go Armor Rougi X? Not really. I don't think it's very good in this matchup. It's going to Flame Surge. We have... Iron Moth is our sponge here for rope if they play one. I definitely gave him a chorus. That's why I didn't want to Iono them, but I do I did want to like bench stuff. I also wanted to work towards the iron hands, right? So hopefully our prize is good. Prize number five. Fire energy, that is not what I'm looking for. It's a little awkward. Not the greatest, not the greatest hand ever. I want to be able to iron hands my opponent this next turn if possible, but I don't think we can pull that off with this hand. They're definitely gonna get a chorus. Can they get to Tina though? Probably not. I don't think they can get to vacuum this turn, though. Now, you know what? Actually, I should have benched Charcadet. Because Armor Rouge can knock out the Giratina. Yeah, you know what? I, I misplayed. I should have went Charcadet. I should have put the Charcadet in play. Yeah, I should have. Because, like, we can just Armor Rouge the Giratina next turn and knock it out. 
Currently, I'm, I don't have a way to... I should have... Yeah, I should have put Charcadet in play. That was a misplay. Because I'm like, I why, I might want Bidoof and Iron Hands as my last two bent. Or Manaphy. Manaphy would be good, too. But, yeah. Misplayed. Probably should have put the Charcadet down. Because they... I can just knock the Giratina with Armor Rouge X. And they found Chloris. There it is. They're going to be at six. They're going to be one short of seven. They might get to seven this turn. We'll see. If they put a V-Star in play, we're just going to have to immediately knock it out with Mew EX. I don't have a choice. Really want to get Bidoof down. I want to get Bibril in play before my opponent gets to Sableye. Because Mew's shut off by path. Yeah, I definitely sh I should have played the Charcadet. I am 100% regretting not putting Charcadet in play. Because that would have been the perfect attacker to just KO the Giratina. Because Charcadet can't get KO'd. Yeah, I should have I should have put the Charcadet down. I'm, I'm regretting that now. Because if I can't KO the Giratina in one hit, it gets a little awkward. Should have done it. Ideally, we draw a supporter, though, and then I can, like, try to go Iron Hands if they go Cram this turn. If they go Cram, we're just going to have to go Moth, but, yeah, I definitely should have. Oh, they just passed. Never mind. Should have put the Charcadet in play. Now I'm immediately punished. I mean, we'll do it now. It might be a little too late, though. <laughs> I guess we'll Armor Rouge or Shiyu again. Yeah, because then we can threaten the Armor Rouge. Yeah, we'll Shiyu, sure. Just kill the Comfy, obviously. Yeah. Would have killed the Giratina with Armor Rouge X. I definitely should have put it into play, man. It was a misplay. Tish was a misplay. Especially if they didn't get another Giratina down. Okay, prize number three. Please be good. No, I don't need that. Ugh, just None of these prizes are very helpful. We're in a decent spot. I can... They go Giratina, V-Star. I could try to go Armor Rouge X knockout. Okay, we'll see. I mean, boss in hand is good. Our hand is actually not bad. They can Greninja here. They can leave this with 10 HP, knock out Charcadet, which is a little annoying. That's why I'm, like, thinking, ooh, they lost on a Chorus. Yeah, I definitely, I'm definitely punished for not benching the thing earlier. Rope? Yeah, take my Iron Moth. Iron Moth is a pretty good rope target, because it's like, you can cram it, but you don't knock it out. They can Greninja knock it out. They can take two prizes, but... I obviously don't want to give them Mew or Armor Rouge or Charcadet. There's the Mirage Gate. Can they knock me? If they knock out my Mew this turn, it's a little awkward. We'll see. Yeah, punished. Immediately punished for not putting the Charcadet down. It actually could lose me the game. If they knock out my Mew this turn with Giratina to V-Star, I might lose. Well, no, not exactly. I could still hit with Heat Ray, I guess, which isn't terrible. I am definitely punished for... Just not immediately going after this thing last turn with the Armor Rouge EX if I just charcade it earlier. I just was like worried about clogging my bench up, but I'm like, I should have I should have went for it. Should have went for it. Cause I'm cause I'm Shiyu in the Yeah. It is what it is. Could still lose. We'll see. They need boss V Star here to really punish me. If they knock me out with Shred, we can Armor Rouge EX them. And then I can Mew EX their Giratina V Star. So it kind of puts them in a weird spot. Are they going to shred? They Okay, this is actually not bad. Okay, this is fine. This actually puts my opponent in a bit of an awkward position. Because now I can go knockout with Armor Rouge X. They Giratina that, and then I just win the game with Mew. So I kind of put them in a pretty good... Okay, this is actually really good. This is better than I thought. I mean, we are in brick mode, but that's fine. Um, definitely want to play pa or get rid of that now so I can do stuff. I could bench some cards here. To draw with Mew. Hmm. Is it worth it? To, I mean, I kind of do want to do Mew, but then I bench lock myself. Do I get punished for benching Charcadet? I don't think so. Screw it. Could boss this other Giratina, knock it out. It's not terrible either. Nah. It's Mew for one. I, need, I might need boss for next turn to win. Oh my god, we got beat! Why did I bench Charizard? No! Okay, whatever. It is, it is what it is. Alright. Let's load up this Armor Rouge with energy. How much is it doing? 200? Okay, I need one more. Sick. We'll take one energy off Shiyu. Yeah. Sure. This is kind of checkmate. Because if they go Giratina V-Star, knock out Armor Rouge, I just win with Mew. If they go... Uh... Knock out my Mew, I just went with Armor Rouge. So we'll see what happens. They can cram this turn. They can still do a few plays like Roxanne. This is where not having Bidoof is really bad. I should have <laughs> kind of punished for overbenching, but it was worth it, I think. I mean, I need to find cards to play the game. If I'm not able to play the game, bro, we ain't cooking. 
Um, they did lost on a Colrus last turn. They're down through two Mirage Gates. We'll see. They're down three Mirage Gates now. They need to go like Roxanne knockout with Cram. That doesn't work though. I think okay. I think we're fine. I'm, I think we're in a very good spot right now. We're in a commanding position. We don't even need the hands, bro. Oh, and they just concede. Okay, we got him. Yeah, it was kind of... We had have had... If they didn't have a hand disruption card there... I mean, having Mew and Armor X in play is like checkmate. Because they, they KO the Armor Rouge with Giratina. We go knockout with Mew. They KO the Mew with Boss. I just go knockout Armor Rouge. So that's pretty much checkmate. Kind of. It, they could have won, but if they didn't have the hand disruption, it just, and I had boss and right? So it was like they were cooked. All right, there you have folks. That is my Armor Rouge Iron Moth Future Box deck, whatever you want to call it. It's not really an Iron Moth deck, but, you know, I want to put in the thumbnail and stuff. But Iron Moth actually was a good card in this deck. I mean, it's a good one prize attacker. It's got a lot of HP into, like, Lost Box. And, of course, Shiyu was the MVP of the video. This card is insane. Like, when this card came out in Paldea Vault, I slept on it. I was like, eh, this card's not that good. I don't think it's that good. But after playing with it in this Armor Rouge deck, being able to put three energy in play super easily was kind of ridiculous. This card is actually way better than I expected. Um, especially when you're trying to put energy in play for like an early Iron Hands attack. Yeah, and Iron Hands, speaking of which, is pretty good in here too with Armor Rouge and the future cards like Techno Radar and the Booster Capsule are really good. Two Booster Capsules could be good in here too. I honestly thought about playing Pogo Moltres so that Heat Ray can do 130 damage. So you can like knock out Greninjas and stuff. And even KO uh, Goldango in one hit, obviously, as you saw. But overall, I think this deck's a lot of fun to play. The Armor Rouge EX was pretty good too. Um, it is kind of a pile, but it's a cool pile. And I like playing toolbox decks. Having toolbox decks give you a lot of options, a lot of different plays you can make. And that'll be it for the video on the Armor Rouge Iron Moth deck. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. Help me on the road to reaching 53,000 subs. Share a card coming down below. If you have any codes, use call the F. Check out my Twitch, my Twitter, my Discord, the Shovel Squad, the second channel, and the podcast channel linked down below the Metamite Pod. Every Friday, we upload an episode of our pot episode number 18 is coming out uh or came out today or is coming out later today but get ready for that if you're uh if you enjoy the pod and uh, definitely go check it out down below and uh yeah that'll be for me hope you enjoy the video and i'll catch you on another paradox of tech video uh, bye bye